our area of operations was quite large and you know, horrible mountainous terrain and uh, all bad stuff for signalers. And after a couple of uh, forays in helicopters to do experiments on mountains uh, above the clouds and in the clouds and in the jungle, uh, we found a location whereby we could retransmit uh, messages from a very high feature, uh, which gave Colonel Slater in Fort Balibo uh, the ability to speak to everybody uh, in our area, which is a pretty good feat. It was a, a tremendous communications challenge uh, in East Timor. The platoon at the time uh, were absolutely marvellous. Achieved a lot of communications things that I don't believe have been equalled um, to this day. Uh, a lot of it's very technical and uh, uh, some of it I can't talk about, but uh, for example, we were an infantry battalion signals platoon and over the course of uh, the five month deployment, uh, the platoon was achieving things that the brigade signal squadron couldn't. Uh, for example, the CO, Lieutenant Colonel Slater at the time, told the brigade signals detachment that uh, he didn't care about the, the fandangled pieces of kit they had. He had one requirement and that was to speak to the brigadier uh, over a radio. Uh, we were based in Balibo. Uh, the brigadier was based in Suai on the south. Uh, there's a mountain range between the two and it's a long way away. The uh, signals squadron told everyone that it couldn't be done. Uh, it was impossible, it was too far. So we then took that as a challenge and um, using a variety of clever techniques and retransmission stations, uh, raised ourselves on the brigade net or the brigade radio net, uh, introduced ourselves as 2RR, did a radio check, uh, then closed down and then uh, told the CEO that it in fact was possible because we'd just done it. Anyway, the uh, relationships between myself and the re resident brigade signal squadron went a little bit downhill after that. But uh, um, the guys were very well trained, uh, you know, as a signaller, and that, that was something I had learned in the first trip. It's uh, it's yourself and a piece of kit, and some wires and your imagination versus antenna theory, which is atmospherics, the ionosphere, uh, calculation of frequencies, antenna construction, a little bit of trigonometry. So it's it's quite it's quite a good academic challenge particularly if you do it properly and, uh, you know, use encrypted nets, had a ball.